anyways we did talk about say i go church i go talk about this and that i fight i go courts for over one year fight this man nobody say make i support this guy financially i tell keyamu for four months i complain for keyamu say keyamu i don't get cash yo i don't get cash you get to the fly up and down i don't fly 16 times in one year back and forth like seriously and because of my security an office stay in nigeria immediately after course i come canada you know so at the time man eh, I, I had to you know leave kiamu do whatever it is i can do to get out of that mess and yes the man plans to give me money but at the end of the day not give me that's why i'm here today trying to remind you of the corruption in nigeria i only believe corruption when lights not day or when is your convenient to believe in corruption i not believe say this man use a boju to carry me go that church have you no allah but the thing where i want to tell you right now they say everything happened the way it's supposed to happen this man was supposed to pay me to cover his, his secrets. My life would have been worse. My life would have been worse. Because if he had paid me, I would not feel the talk right now. Do you know the spiritual effect to carry that burden for the rest of my life? As I'm here right now, feeling so free. Since I begin to talk about this issue, since I begin to talk my truth, I've been feeling so free. This man, the same people come my page, they come insult me. Dude, you don't fail. People, they fear you, but waiting, I know they fear you. Hey guys, before you go further with the video, there's something I want to bring to your notice, which is the fact that Stephanie Otubo apparently is releasing a brand new song. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know she was a singer until now. She's releasing a song called Apostle and isn't that just funny that mouth so you lick, lick up and down smelly person your end has come okay you the young the man anyways the thing is say why i say everything actually happened the way god wanted it to happen if i had won my speech if i win the court case that time probably go pay me money right or something okay say i go to the church and i sell those lies which man of god go arrange lies inside church inside the house of god than a man of god and then at that time i don't know about this fundraising online i should have my lawyer not even advise me, not even care about me, just they do your own thing. May get promoted and everything. And they talk the truth. And the truth that they talk so. The more times that I watch this video is the more that I feel like this lady might be doing this simply for clout. And I hate that I feel that way, but I just cannot help but feel that way. Because I still don't understand why yeah i don't understand i don't understand all of this what's the what's the reason you want to have us believe that you were in a relationship with a pastor because you were under some juju under some spell i find it so convenient for you to say but how can we believe that how do we believe that right how and then this is you now these are your points you're just you know <sighs> because this spiritual effect why i take cover this man for the past five years actually puts me really really down you know and he can't they do more juju and everything. This not be pastor. So the man not be pastor. So the man not be pastor. So the man not be pastor. Anybody can learn Bible and begin to rubbish. The reason I say this is not not this not God will this way not God. God really puts me in the process. He just used to the man. He puts me. In one place look at my page and see how i care about other people now this is this is actually the characteristics of a good leader may i leave english first 
so that I'm not going to understand. It's absolutely wrong for a pastor, an apostle, a man of God generally, to have like this kind of relationship with someone, you know, especially um, where there's like all kinds of like bad stuff going. I don't even know if he's married. He probably is. I don't know. But my problem is with the fact that she is not taking responsibility. She's not holding up to the fact that she agreed to date a man of God, which on its own is something that anyone should be scared of, right? But to justify herself, she's saying that she was under his spell, under his juju, which is just, yeah, I mean, there are lots of people who still, because of power, because of money, would date a pastor, whether or not it's something, whether or, whether or not he's married or single. And they don't even have to be under any sort of spell to do that. There are lots of people who will. So how do we know, madam, that you're not, you didn't just date him out of your own will? How do we know? Anybody where my dressing affects, everybody get different departments for this life. My departments won't be to do Christian, Christian cover the face. All those are bullshit, not for me, at least. I be my own person. You come knock or tell me how, who I am. I know who I am. I don't break out from Suleiman's juju and charms that make me feel talk like this i go post one video of another woman with not the feet with fear now so she it keep me for fear for the past five years that not be pastor and also by 2018 after i go to that church i should not pay me as i reach canada they push me come off on nigeria immediately i finish that thing they push me go and uh, come canada I say, oh, the, oh, the next day, oh, yeah, I don't land. Where my money? They're not going to answer me. Frank, Shaibu, no answer me again. That actually kills me because for me to take that fall, my plan, our plans be saved will give me cash. You know, I take that fall, you know, give me cash. So that thing really killed me. Killed me because I don't imagine how human being will be wicked like that. I take fall for you. You don't even care. Say, okay, let me settle this girl so she go. You know, it's also diabolical nonsense. Nice when the man they do. It's also that. You know, you can't even say, let me trust this person for, for once. Let me trust small. I can't begin the year from the dead. The first person I hear from now, my late brother, 2018. I'm not fear because now my brother, even when in their life, he vowed to protect they protect me. So, and we little when he died. But he was always there for me, you know. Throughout this process, then they give me hope. I don't try to kill myself twice. The first time that he stopped me, say, hey, my giver, two days, I will feel better. Anyways, to cut long story short, I did see my brother since. Then second, I don't know if I know that girl lyrics. We died on social, like she died of cancer, but I stopped, I knew come on social media early 2000 or, so, or something. 2020, early 2020, something like that. Then, Apostle Suleiman used one doctor for Abuja, Timo locked me up, she had no crease. So, I did go through a lot of stress that time. But as lyrics, this little girl, her uh, story come up, and so I couldn't feel for her, I couldn't wonder, Jesus, save this girl. I started to think on my own, this girl appeared to me. Couldn't they console me. She they console me that if he and me, I say, eh? Because she was already sleeping away. Hi, Didi. My name is Stephanie Otobo. I'm Nigerian, but based in Canada. So, some days ago, I was just doing my thing here at home and I saw your late Miss Kim and she showed me how she would actually rest in peace if her girls, the two twins girls, if they get closer to God, like know God properly. Oh, now you talk to spirits. Okay, great. I wish you the best, Stephanie. I, I don't know what you're looking for, but I hope you find it. I hope you get what you're looking for.